Hi there. I've got a new book out called Stefan G. Bucher's Letterheads, An Eccentric Alphabet, and I thought I'd show you how one of these letterheads gets made. And I did this one especially for this demo. So you're getting a question mark. You use a program called ZBrush, and you start out by creating the basic shape out of what's called Z-spheres, and then you make that into a shape, uh, into an object. And then I get sculpting. And I sort of had an idea of where I wanted the mouth to go, right at that uh, turning point of the question mark. Now, where should the eye go? Where should the ear go? These are all big questions. If you followed my daily monsters, you know that that's always a big question, is where do the eyes go? Because that sort of determines everything else. And the nose, also not unimportant. And you can see here how I really am roughing it in initially. And then I sculpt it like clay, except digitally. Eyeballs, always helpful. Character looks kind of mean, which isn't really my intention. It's just sort of how this initially came out. Um, and uh, then I just started working the details, like the nostrils. Working this way is really great because I've always loved drawing, but I've always worried about getting the perspective right. And obviously that's not a problem with uh, sculpting. Perspective's always going to be right on, on a sculpture, especially if you have a little bit of digital help that keeps everything symmetrical automatically. Lots of work on the eyes. And I know there are people who are more experienced with ZBrush, so please be kind when you critique my technique. Um, I'm really just trying to get to interesting characters, and I'm still studying how to use the tool most efficiently. But you can see it's a, it's a really great way of working. And it's just finding the character as I'm sculpting. So I'm not really going in with a big plan. I really like to, as I do with the Daily Monsters, see what the material suggests and where it goes. I thought there'd be a secondary character for the dot of the question mark. And again, where do the eyes go? what happens with the nose and the mouth. And of course, these are more human figures, so it's not quite as abstract as the monsters. And in some ways it's easier, but then of course, it also has to look more recognizably human. Again, working the eyes. I'll be adding some ears in a second. But first, a mouth. The detail work is really the most fun part of this because it's just so satisfying to carve wrinkles into clay faces. The ears I prepared previously, so I just can place those in and scale them and stretch them as I need them to be. Old characters, more fun because more wrinkles. Again, wrinkles equal fun in art. In life, maybe less so. And then the hair is always fun. This guy has got a big, big pompadour, obviously. Why? That is, uh, that is the question, isn't it? Uh, I'm so sorry. I apologize. That was beneath me. It was definitely beneath you. And we're almost done. Just a little bit more hair on the dot. And then adding a little bit of skin texture in a second. Um, because pores, really helpful. Really helpful in life, I feel. Good for regulating body temperature. Gives you a naturalistic look. Makes you look not like a CG character. Makes you look more like a person. A little bit of screwing around with the mouth. A little bit of a thinner chin. You know. And lastly, a little bit of detail work on the eyebrows there still. And then I'm going to start picking, well, yes, yes, raise that eyebrow. Must raise eyebrow, always a good thing. He looks so stern, such a skeptic, that question mark, as, as one would expect, I suppose. But the dot, the dot is where all the humor is. And then for good measure, add a little background color and make it spin around. 
So all of these techniques I used to create a whole alphabet called the letterheads. And the book, again, is Stefan G. Bucher's Letterheads, an Eccentric Alphabet, which you can order, and I hope you will order, uh, on your local online bookstore website, or buy it even better at your local independent bookstore. And I hope you'll enjoy it. It's got the, it's got the entire alphabet, because I'm all about value. A to Z, all of them. Thank you for checking out this promo demo.